What's up guys, I wanted to bring you a quick video of the tank. Uh, sorry, I'm using my head mount camera so I don't really know where I'm pointing exactly right now. Um, you might notice the cord coming down in front of the tank, that's for something I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, corals are doing really good, some of the corals have exploded with growth, um, others are just kind of slower growers. I did lose one of my plate corals and my clam. Um, that was my, the hermit crabs went ape shit on that clam one day. It was really weird. Um, the monopora, the money cap is growing like a weed. The uh, forest fire digi sprang back from my cal, uh, no, my cal, my alkalinity overdose, um, which was my fault. I set my dosing pump wrong. Uh, but that was the only one that got affected by it. So that thing is bounced back. Strawberry shortcake or pink lemonade, whatever the fuck it is, is a really good grower. As well as the red dragon. The red dragon's a really, really, really fast grower. Um, if you guys remember the pink lemonade, was a frag probably, oh, I don't know, about that big or so with four branches. It is now turned into that thing right there. Really, really grew quick. Um, so, some things I'm changing. Um, well, some things I'm adding and a couple things I was thinking of changing anyways. Um, I'm adding T5s. I don't know if the camera's showing this. Um, I'm adding some T5s. Yes, this is a ghetto-ass rig right now. This is just a very temporary setup. Um, I just wanted to see if I was going to like the T5s to begin with. What I think I'm going to do is um, instead of having the lights going like this across the tank, I'm actually going to flip them so they're going long ways across the tank. And I'm going to put two T5s on either side of the light bars. That way I got some T5s and LEDs happening. I was I was so close to going all T5s I had. I went to bulkreefsupply.com. I put in my shopping cart a uh, ATI Sun Power 60 inch 8 bulb system because when I put the T5s on here I absolutely love the look of the tank. Um, but then I decided against it and I'm actually just going to go with the LEDs and some T5s. Um, so I love the T5 look. It's amazing. Um, I had my first WP-40 failure, and I don't know what I did with the WP-40, um, but it was the one that was in my refugium, and it, uh, what I think happened, the motor is still good, but what I think happened is the control circuitry um, went out on it because the, the propeller was just sitting there going click, 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 and working in the HVAC field, I see that all the time with uh, the uh, electronic, electronically commutated motors. Uh, when they go bad, they kind of do the same thing. They just go click, 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 click. And that's what this one was doing. I don't know what I did with the pump. But, uh, so that was my first WP-40 failure. And to let you guys know, that pump was over two years old. That was my very first original WP-40. So it lasted a good amount of time, in my opinion. Um, and I think it went bad because I put it on this power supply here, which I think it's this power supply was too big for that WP-40. This one came from my old uh, DC-12000, and um, I don't even remember why I put it on this, this power supply, but I did, and I think that's what burnt it out. Um, I don't think it was the pump. Yes, I got a wire mess going on here. I've been switching a lot of things around down here, doing some rewiring, and I'm actually getting ready to uh, do something different with my little storage over here and my electrical, so I pulled everything out. So you, that is not permanent, <laughs> I promise. Uh, but everything's doing good. I'm excited to uh, reconfigure the lighting. Um, I think it's going to look really good. The reason why everything was doing really, really good, everything still is doing really, really good with the Reef Breeder LEDs. Don't get me wrong, I love the Reef Breeder LEDs. They do very well. The reason why I wanted to add some T5s or some other sort of supplemental lighting was because the front side of the tank, as you can see, the corals aren't as colorful right because the back sides or the front sides if you will weren't getting any light because the lights are kind of fixed back here and they're not coming enough forward so I wasn't getting light spread enough light spread to the front of the tank so I either wanted to add more LED or supplement with some T5s so that's why I'm doing it because the depth of the tank being 36 inches I wasn't able to cover the entire tank with these three LEDs so I have to do something with the amount of growth and SPS I'm getting in here. I want the front of the tank to look good too because that's where I'm always looking. But if you come around to the side you kind of look forward at the corals, 
you can see that they got some really good color on the back side of them. So I'm cool with that. I mean, I like looking from the top down. We know when I turn the pumps off, but I want them to look good from the front of the tank when I have company over and whatnot. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a pretty quick video just to kind of show you the tank. And I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, I know it's not the best. Um, I have the LED set to where I really like them and it, it matches the uh, T5 is really good. Um, I got two True Actinic ATI True Actinics and two Blue Plus. And um, I was able to kind of fine, you know, fine tune the knobs on the LEDs to match the uh, color spectrum look. So I don't really want to mess with them too much. So I'm sorry it's washed out. I'm going to get some filters for the camera again. I had some and then I lost them. Um, the anemone move down here, if it stays right here, I will be one happy camper if it stays right there. It did move up here and I had to move my green stylo Fora and I was getting ready to have to move my purple stylo but it moved back down. So got a whole bunch of frags going on, more frags over here. Um, I removed the rock that had all that GSP on it because it was starting to overtake the tank and I didn't want that and it, cur it killed the green slimer that was on that rock. Um, if you look back in a previous video you'll see there was a really nice green slimer. So, I had to surgically remove that rock and then I put this one in and glued it in place and no more GSP in the tank. So there it is guys. We'll uh, see you in the next one. And by the way, the refugium is going nuts. All right guys, later.